the most recent significant explosive event at Shishaldin volcano. The height to occur during this eruptive period occurred early in the week of the 25th to the 26th of August. Throughout the day on the 25th of August, the seismic tremors increased in intensity and were accompanied by the detection of small infrasound bursts and the very high surface temperatures observed in the satellite data. The Volcano Observatory Notice for Aviation VONA was issued at 11.36 a.m. EKDT 1936 UTC retaining aviation color code at orange, but advising of the possibility of significant ash emissions in the next few hours. Shortly thereafter, pilot reports of ash emissions to approximately 30,000 feet above sea level were received and the aviation color code and volcano alert level were raised to red, warning at 12.04. AKDT 2000 for UTC. Ash emissions are visible in satellite data, although they are partially obscured by meteorological clouds. Seismicity continued to increase until approximately 16.38.03 UTC on the 19th of August, before decreasing sharply. Ash emissions continued after the decline in seismicity and were observed in satellite data until 0 o'clock at 080 UTC on the 26th of August, with seismicity at pre-event levels and no further observations of ash emissions in satellite data. At aviation and volcano alert color code was reduced to orange. Watch at 030 at 030 UTC on the 26th of August and remained maintained for the rest of the this week. Low level activity continues for the rest of the week. Seismicity remained above background and increased surface temperatures were observed at the summit crater throughout the week. AVO field crew working on Unimac Island observed a mass flow on the upper side of the volcano which began around 5.20 p.m. AKDT on the 27th of August. The flow produced a short-lived ash cloud that rose to a height of about 15,000 feet for 0.5 kilometers above. Sea surface and disappear quickly. This mass flow was most likely caused by the collapse of lava splashes that had accumulated on the edge of the summit crater. This type of activity is still a proximal hazard as these deposits sometimes collapse without warning and produce hot flows on the upper side and small clouds of volcanic ash. Shishaldin has experienced eight periods of explosive eruptive activity resulting in significant ash emissions since July 12th. It is not known how long this eruption period will last. Previous eruptions of the Shishaldin volcano have lasted weeks to months with repeated cycles of activity similar to those seen since July 12th. Prior to the current activity, the 2019 to 2020 eruption of Mount Shishaldin was the first eruption to result in lava flows outside the crater area since 1976. Small eruptions in 2000 for and 2014 erupted lava confined to the summit crater. Previous Shishaldin eruptions have produced ash clouds as seen in the current eruption, most recently in January 2020. Routine evaluation of satellite, seismic, and infrasound data provides warnings of possible unrest associated with ash cloud production.